But the boss wants, all right. Come on, let's ride. Fuzzy, but here we are in the outskirts of Gould Valley. Yeah, and I'm glad. My tongue is so dry, if I blew my breath, I'd blow up a dust storm. According to Jim Thornton's letter, his ranch is about three miles east of town. Rash, I've been wondering why Jim sent for us. I don't know. His letter didn't give much information, but it must be something big. Well, whatever it is, we're in for trouble. Uh, my nose is itching again. And you know what that means. It means trouble, trouble is just, just around the corner. Uh. You boys meet me in front of the saloon. I'm going in and give this envelope to the boss. now. Yeah, it didn't take him long to see the boss. Well, was he satisfied? Yeah, and if everything goes the way he's got it figured, we'll have control of every gold mine in this part of the country. Well, the boss knows what he's doing. When do you suppose we can divvy up? It shouldn't be long now. It calls for a drink, doesn't it? That's a good idea, Silver. Let's go in and celebrate. What'll it be, boys? Whiskey. And make it snappy. I'm cashing in. Every time Conway and his gang comes in here, trouble starts. Come up again. What's the matter with you? You've got the heebie-jeebies?
What's all the shooting about? It's Matt Conway and his pals are shooting up the saloon. Well, who's Matt Conway? Mister, if you don't know, you're better off. And you'd better hunt a hole to crawl in. Well, why don't the sheriff do something about it? The last one did. Now he's pushing up daisies in Boot Hill. Coming along, Fuzzy? Well, where you all going? Well, I'm going in and get a formal introduction to Matt Conway. Not me. I told you down the road a piece that my nose was the engine. You know what that means. Uh... Hey, lad, wait for me. Well, boys, here's to the... I think you've had enough, mister. Put down that drink. Hey, Rash, you're slipping. You used to be able to do that without spilling a drug. <laughs> Which of you is Conway? I am. Who are you? And that funny-looking store muff you've got with you. Why, I'll knock the buttons right off you. Conway, the West is sick and tired of poor cats like you. Now get your pals together and get out of here. Come on, kid. <laughs> hey, come on, Jughead. That goes for you, too. There's enough trouble around here. Now take those gun slingers and get out of town. You all heard what the man said. Move! That's a mighty fine thing you fellas just did. Thanks. We're looking for Jim Thornton's ranch. Can you tell us where we'll find it? No, I can't. Why don't you see Mayor Evans? He can tell you. Well, where might he be? Across the street. You'll see his name in front. Thanks. Come on, Fuzzy. Gentlemen, what can I do for you? My name is Lash LaRue, and this is my partner, Fuzzy Jones. Uh, don't forget the Q. Fuzzy Q Jones. <laughs> I'm glad to know you. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Can you tell us where Jim Thornton's ranch is located? Yeah, we've been here, and he's had a little trouble. Do you know anything about it? Why, Jim Thornton's one of my best friends. Drops in to see me quite often. As far as I know, he hasn't been having any trouble. At least he's never mentioned anything to me about it. What's the best way to get to his ranch from here? Well, there's only one way, and that's through Owl Hoot Pass. Take the main road running east out of town. When you get through the pass, take the first road to your left. You can't miss it. Thanks, Mayor. Guess we better get started. It's a good idea before it gets dark. Oh, don't worry about getting dark. Lash has got eyes. You can see the grass growing. <laughs>
matter, Fuzzy? Your nose bothering you again? Oh, it tickles. And you know that means trouble. You and your hunches. You better get a move on. It'll be dark in an hour. You know my nose. This ain't itching for nothing. Well, maybe you're right. Who we'll split up? You ride the ridge, and I'll stay on the pass. Meet you on the other side. him off. Turn him loose and I'll get him on the run. I ought to fill the rest of you full of lead. Now don't make any false moves because my trigger finger is getting itchy in my nose. Thanks, Fuzzy. Conway, pull off your gun belt. You heard what the man said. Not tough guy. Let's see how you can do in a fair fight.
Now get this, Conway. I don't know where you fit into this puzzle, but I intend to find out. My advice is to get out of the country while you can still walk. And take this mangy coyote with you before I skin him alive and use his hide for a rug. <laughs> Quite a spat Thornton's got. Yeah, he runs a pretty big hurt. Hold it. Now turn around slow like. What do you want? If it's jobs, there's none to be had. Uh, just a minute, you. I ain't taking no orders from you. I. We want to see Jim Thornton. Jim Thornton ain't here. Now mount up and get out. Well, if Jim ain't here, I'm going to see who's in charge. Now get his rifle, Fuzzy. Stand where you are, both of you. What do you want with my uncle? Well, jumping Jehoshaphat from Kansas City tadpoles if it ain't June Thornton. <laughs> well, I ain't seen you since you were knee high to a grasshopper. Look, mister, who are you? And what do you want around here? Well, I'm Fuzzy. Fuzzy Q. Jones, don't you remember me? Oh, well, then you must be Lash LaRue. Yes, ma'am. None other. <laughs> Last year, me, Jim Thornton's niece, uh, June. Howdy, ma'am. Uncle Jim said he was expecting you. I'm awfully sorry you got this kind of a welcome. Oh, it's all right, Joe. These are friends of Uncle Jim's. Come on in the house. for Joe. When Uncle left, he gave strict orders to keep strangers off the place. And, you know, Joe's my uncle's foreman. When did your uncle leave? Four days ago. He said if he didn't come back that night, not to worry about him, that he'd be back the next morning. But, well, to tell you the truth, I am worried about him. Did he say anything about seeing anyone in particular? No, he didn't. But I feel something must have happened to him. Your uncle must have been having trouble, else he wouldn't have sent for Fuzzy and me. Can't you remember anything to tell us that might prove helpful? Well, before he left me, he said there was a very important envelope coming in from Sacramento. I've been to the post office several times, but no envelope. Hey, June, uh, do you know what was in that letter? I think it was an SCS report. You know, Uncle never told me very much about his business affairs. Well, uh, did Jim own a mine? Not that I know of. Did your uncle keep any valuable papers that might uh, give us some clue? Well, yes. Do you mind if we look at them? Maybe we'll find something. I, I guess it'll be all right. I think we've got the answer, Fuzzy. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, well, uh, what is it? Miss Thornton, your uncle has a gold mine somewhere on this property. He's been keeping a secret, or thought he had. You, you mean someone's located the mine and done away with uncle? Well, I wouldn't say that. Now, don't you go worrying your pretty little head about it, Uncle Jim. There's one man in these parts who can take care of himself, and believe me, I know. Tomorrow, we'll give the ranch a good looking over. If anyone should ask who we are, just say we're friends of the family. Stop by for a couple of days. You tell that jug-headed foreman of yours to tend his own business as far as I'm concerned or I'm gonna... 
cloud up and snow all over him. you two to get rid of that man in black. The boss has got to be plenty sore. Well, if the boss don't like it, why don't we take a crack at him himself? Fighting that guy's like taking him with a cage full of wildcats. Yeah, and that bearded partner of his always shows up at the wrong time. What do you mean, shows up at the wrong time? He got the drop on us. Plug Morgan. You men are supposed to be two of the toughest gunslingers this side of Texas. Well, who says we're not? Hold on, Conway. Gunplay here won't get us anywhere. The boss wants those two put out of the way, and that's that. What happened at the ranch? That Thornton girl interfered and spoiled my play. What do we do now? I'll ride back to the ranch and keep my eyes open. You men lay low till you hear from the boss. Hey, why don't we go down there and see if that mine's any good? Why just stand around here and look at it? Miss Thornton said her uncle's property line ended this side of an old mine shaft. Well, if that mine ain't no Thornton's property, then that mine ain't Thornton's mine. And if that mine ain't Thornton's mine, well, why don't we mind our own business and go on to Thornton's Quiet. property? Take a look. Keep your eyes still, Clever. I won't be but a minute. Those are the two umbrages we tangled with before. I wonder what they're up to. I don't know, but I got a hunch they're up to no good. Everything's the same. Nobody's been here. The boss wants the entrance brushed in, just in case somebody starts snooping around. Grab the hatch and let's get busy. and see what they're doing. Now we'll give them a little more time first. that I took out of my horse's hoof. That's not a rock, Fuzzy. That's a gold nugget. Gold? Yeah, high grade. Same kind of stuff we found in Jim Thornton's strong box. You stick around out here. I'm going to take a look inside. You're the only little horse in captivity that's been wearing gold studded horseshoes. <laughs> hey, Latch! You know, Jim Thornton's gonna be a rich man when he comes back. He won't be coming back, Fuzzy. What do you mean? He's in there, dead. 
I got a feeling things are going to happen around here and fast. Come on, we'll take care of the body, then head back to the ranch. Fuzzy, I figure Joe the foreman is mixed up in this. Well, how do you figure that out? Just after our run-in with Conway, I thought I caught a glimpse of Joe in town. I knowed I'd seen that ugly face someplace before. Then, just as we were about to enter Mayor Evans' office, he ducked out of town fast. Well, then Joe had to be the one that tipped off Conway when we were coming to this ranch. Fuzzy, you're a genius. I never figured him to be smart enough to be the head of a gang. Hey, let's go get him. Not just yet. Joe's just another hired hand. The man we want is much smarter. Well, who do you figure that is? I'm not sure, but I've got a pretty good idea. June, you're the only one that can help us. Well, now, this might be dangerous. I'll do anything to help bring Uncle Jim's killer to justice. Good. I have a plan. Now, here's what I want you to do. so bright and early? Well, I thought maybe you had some news of Uncle Jim. I wouldn't worry too much. I'm sure your uncle will show up in a day or so. After all, Miss Thornton, he is a busy man. Mr. Evans, you were a very close friend of Uncle Jim's. Did he ever tell you that he had made one of the biggest gold discoveries in the history of Gold Valley? Well, I'm afraid your uncle was suffering delusions of making a big strike. You see, a short time ago, he brought some more samples for me to look at. They were practically worthless. Thank you, Mr. Evans. I feel a lot better now. Well, I'm sorry I can't stay and visit some more, but I'll be late for the stage. Well, the stage isn't due in until tomorrow. Are you going someplace? I know. I had a very important letter I was mailing to Sacramento. In fact, Uncle Jim gave it to me to mail just before you went away. Well, you better drop it at the post office, then. I'm sorry you can't stay longer. Thank you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care of her. Now remember, no shooting. We'll take care of her like we did her uncle. Yeah, nice and quiet like.
Conway and his pal are right behind. Let's head them off. Get out! They're getting away, Latch. That's what I want him to think, Fuzzy. Let's head back to the ranch. Looks like Miss Norton got here safely, all right. Yeah, it's a good thing we were riding herd on them galoots or she might not have made it. We sure had that one figured out, didn't we, Latch? We sure did, Fuzzy. Hey, I'm going over to the bunkhouse and water my throat. sure you carried out all my instructions? Completely.
coming after you. Nice long talk. That stage ought to be along any minute now. Yeah, and I figure there'll be a couple of gunslingers there to take off the mail. That's right, Fuzzy. It's all part of my plan. Come on. With them two Jaspers out of the way, things will be clear sailing from here on. I ain't too sure. Dealing with them is one thing, the boss is another. I think he's planning on taking all the gold for himself. Stop worrying, Sliver. You're talking through your hat. He wouldn't be crazy enough to try to pull anything like that on us. We know too much. Come on, let's go in and see him.
Thornton's transfer of claim to his niece. But all we have to do now is remove June Thornton's name, put mine down, and we've got the biggest bonanza since 49. Yeah, and with Steve Morgan dead, that's more of a split for the three of us. When do we divvy up? Well, there's no reason you boys can't get what's coming to you right now. Yes, we had you all wrong, boss. Me and Sliver figured that you might try a double cross. I still ain't too sure. And I ain't taking any chances until I get paid off. Hold it, Sliver. You can't get away with that, Evans. You're into this as deep as we are. And I might do some talking. You won't talk much, Matt, if you're dead. You helped us kill old man Thornton, and you know it. You're right, Sliver, I did. That's why I'm going to have to kill you, too. You see, Matt, I planned to get rid of you and Sliver all along. It won't be very hard to explain. Well, don't kill me, Evans. I'll give you my spit. You can have everything. I'll skip across the border and get out of the country. And besides, what about Quirt? If you kill us, you'll know. Quirt won't do much talking from the end of the rope. You see, he's going to be blamed for Jim Thornton's death. This is the end of the trail for you, Evans. I thought that fake envelope would trip you up. What do you mean, fake? Oh, Lash has you and your little playmates figured out all the time. That's why he had Miss June come in here and tell you she was mailing an important letter to Sacramento. Well, you forget my boys got rid of June Thornton. I'm afraid she won't have much to say. That's where you slipped up, Evans. You started shooting before the boys had a chance to tell you Miss Thornton got away. Yeah, and if you're thinking of Joe Quirk, forget it. He and Lash had a nice long, long talk. Yes, Joe's turning state's evidence. He's all set to do a lot of talking when the United States Marshal gets here tomorrow. <laughs> I'll never be able to thank you enough, Lash. You're sure you won't change your mind and stay? I'm sorry, June. I have to go. But I'm leaving Fuzzy here until you get things started. <laughs> and, June, you don't have to worry as long as I'm on the job. I, I see. 